Hello everyone, this is Sean and today I'm going to be talking about how to optimize your Adobe Lightroom experience on the Surface Pro 4. Alright, so let's dive right in. The first thing you do in Lightroom typically is you import all your photos and then you go through and you can either reject some photos or you can flag some photos depending on what you want to do. Now traditionally if you're using a touch screen you can kind of swipe with your fingers. Uh, you can swipe up or down to reject. So let's say I want to reject this one, uh, go to the next one, I want to flag this one, maybe I like that one, I like this one, uh, swipe and maybe I don't like that one I can reject and you just kind of go through your photos like that. So that's great but there's so many more features that are really hard to access in the touchscreen interface. For example, if I wanted to select a bunch of these uh, pictures and reject a lot of them or flag a lot of them, that's really hard to do in the touchscreen interface. Additionally, if I have keyboard shortcuts or if I want to maybe do some brush ups, things like that, that's really hard to do with the touchscreen even with the pen. So I'm going to show you guys Tablet Pro. I have a whole separate video on Tablet Pro, uh, but today I'm specifically going to be talking about this artist pad over here, which you can actually customize. So you can see I've customized this artist pad to be semi-transparent so that I can still see what is happening behind the scenes. So as you can see here, in addition to having the artist pad uh, transparent and floating around, you can also have it docked to the side in order to maximize your space. Right now I've got the artist pad set up to do uh, editing within Lightroom, but I want to actually open up a different layout in order to make some selections. So you can see now here, this is my selections pad. So let's go ahead and start at the beginning. And this makes it super fast. So if I want to say, okay, let's reject this one. Let's reject this one. Now automatically when I hit reject on my artist pad, it immediately goes to the next screen. And let's say in any of these pictures, I want to look at a, a full screen image uh, so that I'm, I'm not uh, disturbed by what's on the side. I can easily toggle that as well. And I can customize this space to add any number of shortcut keys or any number of functions so that I can quickly uh, flag a photo, pick it, I can uh, reject it. Now let's say I want to go in and I want to start to edit some pictures, okay? So let's say I want to edit this one. I'm going to go ahead and change my artist pad really quick back to my Lightroom editing pad. Keep in mind you can have a pad for anything. You can have a pad for Photoshop specifically for Photoshop. You can have a pad if you do 3D modeling. You can have another pad for 3D modeling. You can customize your Tablet Pro uh, artist pad to really help you with any sort of application like this. Okay, so let's say the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and crop this image. So I can go ahead hit crop and that'll uh, take me right into the mode where I can go ahead and crop. So I want to focus in here on the sunset. So now you can see I'm focusing on the sunset and I see a little boat down here in the sunset. So now let's go ahead and maybe I want to uh, kind of edit out that boat. Okay, so I can go ahead and uh, pick on my tool as I normally would. Now you can see here this is a little bit small. I may want this uh, circle to be big so that it's big enough to edit out the boat. Now typically how you do that is you'd go down here to the size uh, and you'd play around with the size and see and then you'd have to go back. And you might, you know, going back and forth might be difficult. So what you can actually do with Tablet Pro, while your pen is hovering over the image, you can dynamically see how big or small your circle is just by adjusting it on the artist pad over here. So let's say that I want a circle that's about that big, okay? And then let's say I want to go ahead and try and erase that boat. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead you can see in real time, I can look to see what that might look like. Perfect, right about there. Okay, so I am happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this tool. Bam, now you can see the boat's not there anymore. Now what's really nice about the pen is that you can make these precise edits over here. So I can uh, I can start to you know play around with this uh, the highlights, the contrast, the exposure, the highlights, the whites, the blacks. I can really use my pen to kind of focus in, that's where the pen's precision really comes in and makes a huge difference. Look at that beautiful purple sunset. So earlier I mentioned, you know, something that's really hard to do might be selecting multiple photos at the same time. Uh, with your Tablet Pro, you can go ahead and that becomes now really easy. You can just go ahead and 
select large swaths of photos at the same time and uh, if you want you can do things like you can reject them all uh, or accept them or flag them or perhaps edit them all at the same time that's what Lightroom allows you to do is to edit all of these photos at the same time using common themes there's so many ways you can expand on this this could easily be an hour-long video kind of going through every nook and cranny every feature of Lightroom that's not what this video is supposed to be about so as you can see there are some powerful tools available to you in Lightroom and if you're a touchscreen user you can overcome a lot of obstacles to using these tools uh, that are hidden behind shortcuts and so forth by using the Tablet Pro Artist Pad. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, share it, uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and thank you very much for watching.